end of the last instalment, we had arrived in Cash Case, and we would spend a couple of nights there exploring, restocking, and then preparing for our continuing journey southwards. Cascais was about a 25 minute train ride from Lisbon and it would be silly to miss that opportunity. After our very brief visit to Lisbon, it was time to return to the boat in Cascais and get ready for an early departure the following morning. We had seen very little of either sun or breeze ever since we left Bavour de Vazan, and on the morning of the 10th of June when we left Cascais, it was much the same. Very light breeze, if any at all, and as you can see, an overcast sky. However, we were blessed by the being joined by a pod of dolphins who gave us a wonderful display for at least half an hour. Finally, on the evening of the 10th, the skies cleared and we had a wonderful starry night. Next morning, we had blue sky, and indeed, the blue skies would now stay with us all the way to Greece. It was mid-morning when we entered the canal up to the marina at La Goche. Here in Lagos, we were joined by Anne Bonwit, who was going to join our crew for the passage out to Mahon in Menorca. 
Anne was a friend from the Chichester Cruiser Racing Club and was staying with some British friends of hers here in La Gauche. In the next instalment, we'll leave La Gauche and head on our way across the Bay of Cadiz to Gibraltar. <laughs>